Yo, what's the crack guys? This is Mark here from Retrophonic Media and today I'm going to show you how to create a turntable stop effect inside of Fruity Loops. This is also known as a tape stop effect and as always this is quick and simple so let's get it done. So I'm inside of Fruity Loops here and I have this beat brought into the playlist and basically what I'm going to do is grab my razor tool here and I'm going to take just this fourth bar. I'm going to click here, make unique sample, just save it there, whatever. And now this one bar section is actually a file of its own. I'm going to take this and I'm going to link it to my mixer and just call it sample cut. And we have the main sample here and then the sample cut. And what you want to do then is go to your mixer, the channel you've linked to that, and get gross beat. And then if you have this set to basically anything you want here, what you can do is add in there. And then we need one here. But we're not done yet. If we go down to single curve and then if we go like that you should then be done so it should sound like this so i'll just give you a listen to the three bars intro into the fourth and then into the drop of the beat So you can obviously play around with this as much as you want. You can go in and get very detailed. Maybe you only want it lasting for a quarter of a bar. Maybe you want the whole bar. You could do it with much longer samples, much shorter. Whatever you want, that's how you do it. So thanks very much for watching. If you have any recommendations for any topics you would like to see me cover, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe for more. And you can make contact with me at retrophonicmedia.com.